Welcome to my first Godot project ever. Seriously, a little more than a year ago, I decided it was finally time to learn Godot. So I booted it up, I pressed new, and I typed in Bodega. Uh, to briefly summarize, Bodega is a job simulator. It places you in a small convenience store located in 1990s New York. It is your job to make everybody happy. The game first started as just a prototype, but then I started getting so many ideas of where I could take it, and the scope is very obtained. Attainable. But to give you some perspective, here is a short list of things I have added or I'm planning on adding. Here are also some notes from my notebook. Bear witness to some of the first images ever to be taken in Bodega. I pretty much knew right away what I wanted to get done, and that was a convenience store tycoon. So the first thing I knew we had to do was get a first person controller. Then we had to be able to pick up items and place them and rotate them how we wanted. We also needed to be able to place items in boxes. And just like that, we have some of the main mechanics of the game working and moving. So now the player needed somewhere to go shop for these items to get them delivered to the store. In comes the new interface. So this was the first iteration of my item store. This is very early on. It's only a few weeks into the project. And then we move that interface to a computer. And now that 2D is in the 3D world. Diegetic interface. But now we have a working store where you can purchase items. Pretty sick. Also, here is the refrigerator. This will be pretty important because some items need to be refrigerated or they go bad. This will play an important role in the game. Now let me introduce you to man's best friend, a dolly. That's right. This thing's pretty practical. It's going to help you get a lot of boxes from point A to point B. Save you a hell of a lot of time, I'll tell you that. All right, Duff guy, you're moving all these objects around. What's the big deal? What are you even going to place them on? Behold our item cube. It is essentially a furniture spawner. You cycle through furniture and you left click to place and look at the holograms. You see it for yourself. They build. Oh God. You demons stand back! Get away from me! I demand it! Be calm, demon! He needs some. How dare you! Holy oh. shit! Don't let his spaghetti stature fool you. This NPC has obtained the highest level of intelligence. I mean, look at him. A face only a mother could love. They have all been equipped with this thing called Active Ragdoll, which is essentially when you take an animation skeleton and perform all your desired animations, such as walking, picking things up, and then you take a Ragdoll skeleton, which tries to catch up to this animation skeleton every physics frame of the game. And so as a result, the body parts interact with the world and the objects, and it looks pretty dope. When each customer is spawned, they are generated a random list of items they need. Like, think of someone going to the store. There's just, they just have random items they need to get. It always varies. There is an invisible circle around the customer. And whenever an item from that list enters that radius, we do an evaluation of that item. And we'll say, hey, is this item placed on the right shelf? And also, is the price set for this item? And if so, we're gonna pick up that item. Uh, they normally wouldn't pick up items off the floor like they are here. So as a result, I'm going to have to terminate this NPC. Boom. Okay. We got a lot of the fundamental mechanics out the way. We need to now address the fact of how hideous she is. We are in dire need for an extreme makeover bodega edition. Unfortunately for me though, I lack almost every artistic skill required. So I did what anybody else would do and I went to Fiverr. It was time to assemble the Avengers. So altogether, I was able to get 50 unique NPC meshes 150 item products and a little over a hundred furniture props and a shout out to all the artists that have worked on the project so far I'm gonna leave a, a link to all of their socials down below We now have a model for the little furniture cube. We transformed it into a clipboard. 
It's absolutely amazing. You have the build menu, which allows you to purchase, move, and sell furniture. And alongside that, we have the inventory menu, which sole purpose is allow you to browse your stocked items and set the price of them. Whenever you place an item on a compatible furniture, it gets added to the store inventory, which then automatically updates the clipboard, allowing you to change the price on the fly. And while we're on the topic of diegetic interfaces, remember the fucking piece of shit computer we- Yeah, I killed it. I brought it to the backyard and I took care of business. The computer has been fully reimagined to have its own operating system. You have an internet browser where you're brought to the weird world web. There are many websites you can visit, but for right now, we're just going to go to Shelf Stalker. See, there's a lot to look at here. It has been updated again, so I will show that to you. Here are all my iterations of the item store. I'm moving some modules around and resizing things and just changing the way I'm displaying it to you. Tell me what you guys think. Rev up those fryers, cause help! If you think working at a bodega only entails you selling goods to people, you'd be wrong, buddy. What if I told you our customers were more than just hollow entities of consumerism? Drum roll, please. Customer stats and needs. You see the customer's name, hit points, their thirst, hunger, happiness, as well as their loyalty and their balance. How much money they got. You can also see what items they're looking for in your store. But why would you want to track the hunker and thirst if they're already in the stores searching for items? <laughs> they need to eat now. They demand your services, and if you don't help them, they will freak out and die. And we don't really want that, so let's give the player the ability to craft food and beverages. We can give the player recipes that they can unlock. Um, they can then place down a menu, interact with it, add the item, and adjust the price. And then if a customer enters and they are hungry or thirsty, they'll look at the menu, select an item that they prefer, and then uh, once it's time to approach the register, they'll prompt the player with items that they are requesting. You can either accept or deny. Accepting increases their happiness and loyalty and vice versa. Some recipes have extras, so like one person might order a black coffee while another person orders theirs with cream. They won't order an extra if it's not on the menu though, so you don't have to worry about missing things. Each recipe has different steps and interactions, and I think it'll give a nice variety of gameplay. Uh, and what's New York without glizzies? You take out the hot dog, put it on the cooker, turn it on. Once it's done, you take out the tray, put the bun on it, and maybe someone wants a little bit of ketchup on it. So you go put some ketchup on it. And there you go, you got a, you got a nice New York glizzy. In order to buy more furniture, items, and upgrades for the player, you have to level up. There are many ways to get XP, such as placing items on the shelf. Once you empty out the boxes, you can flatten them and throw them away. W recycling. Your store is also going to get dirty pretty often, so you must maintain cleanliness in your store. Otherwise, customers will see that and get grossed out. This also gives you XP. You also leave behind a puddle. Customers will slip on this. You also get XP from completing transactions. Once a customer gets all their items, they give you the money and you get XP. Uh, and then you go to the computer, you go to Ron's floppy disk. This pays homage to the old Dell website from the 90s. And you pretty much purchase floppy disks that contain the data for your level up. You select which one you want to purchase and the next day it comes in the mail. Pick it up and you can see on the floppy disk all of the things that it gives you. You take that floppy disk, walk over to your computer, then you just place it in. And then uh, you're going to get the download prompt. You're going to have to actually wait for this to download. Um, sorry, guys. Not sorry. Um, so while this is waiting, I'm actually going to just throw away some trash. Not a big deal. You know, do some other stuff. You know, got to stay productive. Can't. No downtime. All right. But now once it's downloaded, we can pick up the clipboard. And in fact, see, we have the new displays. Bada bing, bada boom, place it down. I'm gonna put some more items on it. This is pretty cool. And that summarizes about one year of progression in Bodega. There are a little bit of nuances in between, but I really wanted to keep this video kind of short. I respect your time. 
I will be making more in-depth long-form videos that show the code and the mechanics involved in making the game. But for now, if this if this project does interest you, uh, feel free to wishlist on Steam, join our Discord, I post the devlog channel as much as I can. But with that being said, uh, thanks for watching. If you made it to this point, you're pretty sick. Uh, peace out.